Hello everyone. Uh, I've just basically finished up working on a project that I've been working on recently for about the past month. Uh, it's basically a 1802 membership card programmer and it allows you to interact and do a bunch of things with the 1802 membership card which is a pretty cool device here. Uh, here's the actual membership card. It's an 1802 uh, ELF system that's basically really compact and it has an interface a DB25 plug which allows you to interface with it and download to memory, upload a bunch of stuff. So this is basically a system that allows you to do that. It's a totally standalone running off an Arduino Nano and it consists of the Nano, um, a shift register and a LCD screen with a little micro SD card built in underneath it. That's basically the whole system and uh, so I wanted to give you a demonstration today of kind of, you know, how it works. So let me uh, turn it off. I powered everything off. Let me power it up. And uh, it shows the system when it comes up. It's basically a menu-driven system. And uh, let me try to show you here what I'm doing. So menu system, there's a bunch of buttons here. The buttons are arranged on a voltage dividing ladder. And so it allows you to use multiple buttons on a single... Uh, analog pin on the Arduino and we're pretty short of pins especially with all these interfaces in here so let me give you a demonstration so right now the ELF is set on the correct settings all pins are up all, all switches are up except for the read write which is down that's the state the ELF has to be in and then you can see from pressing the buttons the menu you know it starts off at the top shows you the state uh, of the ELF a wait or run state, memory is read or write, and speed shows you the current speed of the ELF. Uh, this device has a, a built-in a speedometer feature which gives you a real-time feedback on the ELF speed. So it allows you to figure out how fast your the membership card is running at. So let me, um, and here's the SD card functions, the you can examine memory and also download memory. So let me do a demo. Uh, let's start off with the ELF speed, so let me pull that up. When you click on the menu item, then you can click OK, hit enter, and it'll put it in run mode. As you can see, it says it's in run mode and shows you the current speed. Um, it's 1788 kilohertz right now, which is the maximum. Uh, on the membership card, there's a little speed uh, hole there, which turns a potentiometer, which adjusts the speed. You can also see the, the way I measure the speed is I upload a very short program that flashes the Q light at a certain rate. And based on the speed of that flashing, the MCP can uh, figure out how fast the ELF is running. So then you press the button again, it will stop and it will show you 1788 kilohertz. What it does also is when you do the speedometer, when you finished, it calibrates to the ELF because the delay time on all the switch controls is based on the ELF speed. If it's, if it's too fast for the ELF to do, it won't work. So it, it optimizes it to whatever the current ELF speed is, which allows you to get the maximum download or upload speed. All right, so, so let's go down. Let's try uploading a file. And if you click the SD, it will show you the SD card contents. Uh, shows you all the files, shows you subdirectories. You can go into subdirectories and download files from there. It handles bin and hex files. So let's try it out with the Arecibo hex file, which is um, a program that basically flashes the Arecibo message uh, that was sent from the Galileo satellite, I believe. And uh, so when you click that, it takes you into this menu, it says upload file, you can view the file. So you can, I'll show you that. View the file shows you the contents of the file um, on the first page. The offset here is only usable for bin files. You can control the memory offset, but we're just going to upload the hex. So let's do upload. Okay, it said uploaded, verified, okay. It verifies every file and it tells you how many errors. So now that's loaded, let's put it in run state. So I'm currently on the ELF state. I'll click the button. Oops. I'll click the button and then it puts it in run. You can see the ELF is in running now and it's flashing the Q light 
according to the Arecibo message. All right. And so let me stop it in wait state and let me go down to show some of the other features. Um, so there is also, um, here's a demonstration of the uh, membership card monitor program, which resides at 8,000 hex memory location and up, but it requires a jump statement. So what I did was I modified the, the, the hex file for this, and I added a short program at the beginning to do the jump. So here you can see at 8,000 is where the actual ROM is, but then at 000, uh, this, the CO8000 is the jump statement to 8000. So you don't have to do it manually. It can handle discontiguous hex files like this. So let's exit out of this. We'll go up and then we'll upload it to the ELF. Uploading. It's flashing the LEDs. Uploading. Uploading. <coughs> File uploaded, verifying, <coughs> verified, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the MCP in disconnect mode. That way it, it electrically disconnects it from the membership card so you can control the membership card switches uh, without it interfering. Disconnect. So now I'm going to Put the ELF into reset. Um, I currently have my uh, membership card connected through my FTDI breakout uh, to my laptop and the breakouts connected through the TX and RX pins on the header. Uh, so now I'm in reset. Oops, let me see. And I'm going to put it in run. Oops. Sorry. Let's put it in run. Run state. I'm going to go to my uh, hyper terminal. Oops. Uh, restart hyper terminal. I don't know why it did that, but basically. Development hyper terminal. All right. So now I'm going to open the connection. And then let's press enter. If it works, it didn't work. Oops, I need to have it in read write mode. So write up, reset, and execute. Let's try it now. There it is. So it's the serial monitor. I'm going to press H for help. I'm going to examine the memory at 8,000 for a page of data. You can see that's where the monitor program is. And I'm going to examine the beginning part, memory address location zero, to show the jump statement that's still in there. It's still got the residual program bytes from the um, speed program that I up the short speed program that I uploaded. And so that's that's it running. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to flip it back into the uh, MCP state, which is basically all pins up except for the read write. I'm gonna reset the MCP and it's going to restart it. I'm going to rerun the ELF speed speedometer to calibrate it. Okay, and then I'm going to go show you the last feature, which is a download. You can download the RAM to a file on the SD card. You can download the whole thing up to 64K. So I'll show you that. And by clicking this, you can control the amount. Um, we're going to do 64K just to do the max. You can download a bin file or a hex, and it will handle like the file formats. Uh, it generates the correct hex sum, uh, check, check sum for the hex file. You can select hex or bin, and go down, and then begin download. So it's downloading. The elf is flashing its LEDs. Downloading, downloading, 
and it basically tells you where it saved the RAM to. It generates a file name with MCP and a sequence number. It advances the sequence number until it finds a file that works. And so we'll exit out of this. Since it's on the SD card now, we can look at it. And it should be the entire memory content. So let's page down and find that file. It should be at the very bottom. Page down. There it is. And there it is, MCP0002 bin, 65,000 bytes. Let's page up, take a look at it. And then let's view the file. All right, and there it is. Uh, oh yeah, it over. It didn't. It doesn't have the CO eight thousand because I uh, calibrated the ELF when I restarted uh, the MCP when I restarted it, which uploads that quick blink program. So it overwrote that, and the F eight zero two B two is the beginning of that quick blink program to to count to speedometer check the speedometer. Um, I'm not going to test the offset, you know, to show you, but it, I mean you can offset the program. Uh, let me go back to the main menu. Oops. Let's go down to exit. Sorry, I have to keep moving the camera to look at what I'm clicking. Um, one final thing, a small thing. You can change the brightness of the L, L of the LCD. Um, you can lower it to uh, whatever you want. This will be helpful if you're running the uh, running the membership card on like a low power, like on battery. You know when it you know, if you don't want the MCP running too much, uh, taking too much power for its display. All right, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, and hopefully I'll be building it into the final um, circuit board, you know, sometime soon. Um, thanks.